you doing, Mother? This Greenlee project, it's over. No more. This is not your decision. You can't get rid of her like this. I thought that you were on my side. I, I, I don't understand what suddenly changed. You, Kendall. You. I'm worried about you. You haven't answered my question, Mother. Why is this now all of a sudden a bad idea? Because I have taken time to think this through. And I suggest that you do that too, Kendall. I want you to do that right no, now. I, I don't need to think things through, okay? It's already started. What exactly are you doing here? I hacked into Greenlee's computer and created this journal. Greenlee's pathetic, spike-obsessed journal. And you, you write the entries in from here. Yes, and they go directly into Greenlee's hard drive and she never knows that they're there. And what if she discovers them? You could go to jail. Well, I'll risk it. For my family, it's worth it. You won't be helping Spike. What you'll be doing is you'll be causing more pain and not just for Greenlee. Small, but cute. Does this look like my office to you? I thought you wanted your business off the books. I'll make an appointment. So you read? I'm gonna need a lot more information before I get you any of Greenlee's fusion stuff. The only thing you need is to know your reward. Startup money for your beauty network. All right, so this bait that I'm supposed to use to get Greenlee to believe that she could have Ryan's baby. It's not true, is it? Did you destroy all of her fertilized eggs or not? Kendall, this isn't the way. You led me on, and, and now, now you're, you're bailing on me? My God, Mom, whose side are you on? I'm on your side, yours and Spike's and Ian's and Zach's. Who did you talk to? Who turned you against me? No one has turned me against you. Look, honey, I was just with Jack. And Jack, Jack, see, of course, I told you. I said, I said that, that, that helping me would mess up your relationship. That is not why I changed my mind. Jack is worried about you. Why? He said that? Yes, he said that. Yes, he did. He's worried about you. And of course, he's worried about Greenlee, and he's worried about our entire family. Well, what exactly did you tell him? Well, Jack is the one who brought this up, because Jack's afraid for Greenlee. Right, of course, poor baby stealing Greenlee. And that turned you around? Fear, honey. Fear. That's what turned me around. Fear uh, about what this is doing to you already, and fear that Greenlee could actually do worse. Oh, I doubt she can do worse than she's already done. Well, don't be so sure about that. Greenlee should worry about me. I'm doing this for my family, Mother. Greenlee does not deserve to get away with what she's done, and she won't. And I say, forget Greenlee. Instead of making entries in that journal, take this time and ride on the carousel with Spike. Hold your baby. Take a walk on the beach with your, your two precious little boys and your husband. Don't waste your time on Greenlee. Take this precious time and rebuild your family. Greenlee will give up Fusion for any chance to have a baby with Ryan. All right, so give me the goods. No. You be Lorraine, I'll do the rest. Okay. So whatever the truth is, you want me to get Greenlee to believe that these fertilized eggs exist? See how much faith I have in you? Okay, let's, let's see I can make this happen. The offer is fusion stock for a carton of eggs. Everyone's happy. Uh -huh. What happens when Granley opens up this carton? It's getting a little sticky for me. I'm out. Pull up a chair. Sit down. When Spike was born, prematurely, it was about the same size that Ian is now. He was in trouble, but he survived. Yeah. I know. 
You almost killed my son and my wife. She asked me to let you live. Get Greenlee's star confusion. You all can't that much. You're dealing with so much right now. Well, yeah, I'll have less with Greenlee out of the picture. You're seeing doctors about Spike's cochlear implants. Yeah, but th that won't interfere with our appointment. Concentrate on that. And Ian, he he's getting so much closer to, to being able to come home, honey. I mean, your life is full of joy and love. Why do you want to get dragged down into that ugliness? I want to end the ugly part. Then concentrate on your children, honey, and your husband. Cling to them. Don't waste your energy on Greenlee. I can't just sit around and wait for Greenlee's next strike. Honey, you have given way too much power to Greenlee. No, Greenlee took it, and I'm taking it back. My family cannot be safe until Greenlee is gone. Sweetheart, please listen to me. Well, if you want to look over someone, help someone, try Jack or Bianca. Play poker with Myrtle. Don't do that to me. Please don't do that to me. Don't shut me out. I don't need you, Mother, okay? The only way that you can help me right now is by leaving me alone. What can I say? That you'll keep quiet about all of this. Yeah, I can't stop you. Oh, boy. It's times like this that I just uh, like to toss it all. Just really give in to it. What are you talking about? There are times when sobriety is highly overrated. I never meant to hurt Kendall. No. You wanted to hurt Babe, but you were too drunk to know the difference. If there's any mistake that I could ever take back, that would be it. Then Babe would be gone. You know that's not what I'm trying to say. I hate what I did. Okay. Okay. And now your future's riding on this. You get me what I need, and the past will stay in the past. Okay. But why should Greenlee believe that Ryan's deviled eggs exist? Because I have backup. I underestimated you. This is brilliant. You know very well what my addiction can do to me. You've seen what it can do to me and to everybody around me who cares about me. That's why you were terrified just now. And that's how terrified I am for you. I can't OD on Greenlee. Oh, no? If you go through with this project of yours, you could end up in prison. And who wins then? Spike? Ian? Honey, I am begging you. If you love your sons, if you love your husband, if you love me at all, don't do this. Put an end to this, this, this plan now. Do it for your sons. Do it for your husband. Do it for me. Do it for you. If you think I'll do this on faith, I don't have any in you. Half your network seed money. 1.5 million? That's what we agreed to. And uh, the other half? You get me what I need, you get what you need. And Greenlee will buy to Kendall's life forever. And Greenlee gets? She deserves nothing. You in? I'm in. I'll uh, call you when Greenlee's on the hook. No, I'll contact you. Keep my name out of it. You don't want any part of this, Scaper? I can't. Why not? Because you're the king of the double cross. Don't try it with me. You lose a lot more than the family fortune. When I hand you over the rest of the fusion stock, and you give me what you owe me, no one will know that we met or made any kind of deal. Don't screw it up. Just have the rest of my money.
Okay. You win. I give up. No more plan. Well, that was far too easy. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying I'll do it for you. Thank you. I guess I, I never really thought about what could go wrong. I need Zach. And, and me leaving now when, when Spike and Ian need me so much. I can't even begin to think about that. Sorry, Mom. Kendall, it's all right. No, no, it's not. It's not. I mean, I have been letting Greenlee run all of our lives. So that, that's it. I'm done. That, that ends right now, I swear. Starting right now, I will not give Greenlee any more power. And you can do this, honey. Yeah. You can definitely do this. Thank you so much for just for helping me and for making me listen. Honey, you're going to do it for your own children someday. It's OK, so you really, really believe that Greenlee will stop bothering us? I believe that Greenlee knows that we are all on our guard now. And she won't dare to do anything else. From your lips. It's so good to hear your voice. Listen, I have a really big problem that I need your help with. Yeah, it's Mom. I am sure Mom would love to come to Paris. Just, just tell her that you miss her. Tell her, tell her that, that Miranda doesn't even recognize her anymore, something. It's a long, drawn out story. I'll explain later. Yes, yes, I just, I need a mom break so I can concentrate on the rest of my family. Promise? Okay. Oh, but hold on, hold on, hold on. I have another phone call, hold on. It's the hospital, I, I gotta take this. Bye. Hello? When we were Tell him Max is going public. Don't worry, we'll regroup and try something else. I lied to you. What exactly did you lie to me about? When I said I was okay not having a baby with you, I lied about that. You. Sidekick Josh to the rescue. Oh, thank you for bringing him. You're welcome. Hi, baby. I missed you so much. I did. How you doing? You okay? No, oh, Zach. Uh, Zach is working late, and I, uh, I, I had to see Ian and get a hold of Spikey. I missed you so much, honey. I did. Kendall, what's wrong? Is it Ian? One of the other preemies didn't make it. So now, a mother has to go home without her baby. 
You sure you want to do this? I did come back to help you. When I heard about the... Your little boys... My boys are not part of this conversation. I do have an idea of what they mean to you. Get to the point. I did get over it, Zach. Not being pregnant. It... It was a bit harder than I made it sound. She was a little girl. Gina. And her parents were a young couple. It was their first baby. They were so sweet. And they had the setback that I have been scared to death of. Yeah, but Ian isn't Gina, Kendall. This doesn't happen to everyone. Yeah, but it does happen. That's what scares the hell out of me. I know. Just gonna have to take this one day at a time, all right? That's the only thing any of us can do. It's kind of hard to do that when it's your child, Josh. I mean, you, you just, you want the clock to, 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 to keep going. You want, you want to make it tomorrow. You want to make it next week. Ian is doing great. He's gaining weight. His color is getting better. And hopefully... Hopefully? How do you hang on to hope when the worst happens? I know you want to tell me something. What is it? I want to thank you. Thank you for the most wonderful night of my life. Give me a kiss. I love you. Do you remember where Ian was? He was right here. He was right here in my belly. Yes. And now he's here. He's your brother. He's your brother. That's right. Brothers, man, they are pretty cool things. They are cool to have. They will have your back whenever you need them to. They will. You'll fight, and you'll make up, and you'll scream Ian's name, and he'll scream your name, and your little brother will think you are the greatest thing ever. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. That's right. The brothers will always be there for you, no matter what. Mm. Um, this is Slater? Yes, there have been some changes. Oh, I, I can't handle any changes. No, not, not today. This is a good change. Ian's off his nasal CPAP. His, his nasal CPAP? CPAP. Continuous positive airway pressure. It's another great step. It also means that little Ian, he's ready for a bottle. I can feed him? Mm hmm I can feed my baby. You can walk away. We don't need to have this conversation. Just like the night never happened. There's nothing between us. Yeah. Erase the past. If that were possible, yes. search for you all those years ago. But I'm here. We're here. And I'm sorry I didn't reach out to our son. Protect him, protect you. Please. Please, Zach. You can make up for it. I made a lot of mistakes. But I would give you back your son if I could. You'd give me back my son if you could. I know what I said. And then the miracle happened. I didn't get a child. I realized I didn't want a child. What I want, and what I wanted was you. In my bed, in my heart, it worked. When you made love to me, 
My whole world changed. Zach, Zach should be here. Zach should, should be the one to do this. Listen, I'm not an expert on Zach Slater yet, but I'm getting to know him, and I'm pretty sure he'd rip me a new one if he knew that I let you pass this chance up. Yeah, but can, can I do this without him? Kendall, don't think for a second that you shouldn't be here right now. You deserve this. I've failed Ian so many times already. No. Kendall, you haven't. And let me speak for your husband on this. He wants this for you. Every moment, every milestone that you can get with Ian, that's what he wants for you. Come here, buddy. Hungry little man?